Hey guys, John Hennessy, and today I'm going to do a test drive in one of our specially tuned Dodge Hellcat Challengers. And uh, this particular vehicle has our HP 850 upgrade, and it has a few other goodies, uh, which you'll hear about and you'll uh, we'll discuss while I'm driving the vehicle. But it's got 20-inch Neato drag radials, which every Hellcat should have from the from the factory, kind of like the Demon. And this also has a special special exhaust modification that we'll get into when I drive it. So uh, just going to do a few laps around the track here, maybe maybe a quick little blast down the highway. Uh, this is not the kind of car for my wind, little windy little uh, country test road, but uh, we build a lot of Hellcats. We probably build two or three every week, and uh, it's a vehicle that I just haven't had a chance to go do a test drive in. So uh, let me go jump in behind the wheel and uh, give you a few impressions and tell you what it's all about. Thanks. Okay, here we are out at Lone Star Motorsports Park, our quarter mile drag strip that we own next to the shop here in Sealy, Texas, just outside of Houston. And I mean, honestly, come on, who does not, who does not love the Hellcat? I mean, how can you not love a car from the factory that comes with 707 horsepower? When the Hellcat first came out, I thought, you know what? That's probably gonna be so much power for most of these guys. Nobody's going to want to modify a Hellcat. Well, it didn't take long to get a few phone calls and people would call and say, hey, what can you do to my Hellcat? And kind of like the other vehicles that we modify it, at one point in time, somebody brings one in and we start tinkering with it. And, and we discover that, you know, the, the first 100 horsepower in the Hellcat is pretty easy. It's a basically a modified supercharger with a different pulley to increase the boost. It only increases the boost about three pounds. And... Um, Retune the computer, air intake, modify the blower, belt, dyno tune it. Picks up about 100 of the wheels. And so we're talking about going from stock, a Hellcat will make uh, manual or automatic. They make about 630 to the wheels, and they'll go to 730. We've seen some as high as 740 to the wheels. I mean, that's a lot of power. And uh, other cars, we've got to do a lot of modifications to get that kind of a power increase. So I'm just going to do a, a little warm-up lap here, just to put a little heat in the in the tires and the brakes. So when we test our cars here at the track, when the track is not prepped, we run we run in the opposite direction. So I'm actually running towards the starting line. So uh, you're watching the video and you're like, "What the heck is he doing?" There's a method to our madness. We like actually having just bare asphalt, like on the street, back where we're accelerating from. So. Uh, you know, again, before we get into the details and the modifications and the driving impression on what the car is about, I mean, it's you know, it drives like stock. I mean, uh, and 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 again, what's not to like about the Hellcat? Well, I'll tell you, the interior is like, it's really cheap. And that's really my only knock against the Hellcat. I mean, the the performance per dollar, um, it's comfortable. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, it's big, it's heavy. Uh, there are other cars that are lighter, but. You know what, this car will still probably beat him in a drag race anyway. And if those other cars are fast around a road course, the Hellcat doesn't really care because when I tell people, they say, well, what's special about the Hellcat? Well, it's like it's like a living room, it's like driving your living room couch with a jet engine. That's my description of the Hellcat. And I like that, I like my, I like my living room couch. I like having my big TV, which happens to be the open road. And uh, you, you can have a lot of fun with these cars against in, in stock form. Um, this particular car with our 850 upgrade uh, is is crazy. I mean, it's going to be 10 miles an hour faster in the quarter mile. This particular car has drag radial, so it'll easily drop it uh, deep into the tens in the quarter mile. No, it's not as fast as the Demon, but we'll talk about the Demon later. The Demon's got a lot of really trick stuff from Dodge that that the af the aftermarket can't just install a trans brake. That that can be done, but it's expensive and it would basically relegate it to a drag car. So. So we're just talking within the confines of, you know, Hellcat versus modified Hellcat versus ZL1s and Mustangs and Camaros and things of that nature. Okay, so we're just gonna just do a little roll on here. Oh yeah. One 
134, which is a good speed for the back of our track. Now, let me show you another little cool little modification that we offer. We don't advertise it a whole lot, but it really works really well on this particular car. So this car, people some, and this particular car also has headers. That's an option with high flow cats that we offer on the Hellcats. They pick up a little bit of power, maybe 15 or 20 horsepower at the wheels, but they do add a nice sound. But this particular car has exhaust cutouts. Okay, I'm gonna get the open button. Ooh, yeah. Hear that sound? Daddy likes it. So the exhaust cutouts are basically electronic valves that sit right before the rear mufflers. So if you want some more noise, you know, if you want to be the cool dad in the pickup line at uh, your kid's grade school, which I got a chance to do about 10 years ago, I had a Cadillac wagon, my hammer wagon that I had uh, that I had dumps on. I could show up with the, you know, kind of mellow stealth wagon, and then hit the dumps, and all of a sudden people are looking around for. They're looking around for, uh, you know, Joey Logano in his in his in his Cup car. Uh, makes a pretty big difference in sound. So we'll give it a roll on here with the dumps open and see what the sound differential sounds like. And your mark, get set. Everybody loves a louder car. When you want it to be louder, you want it to be quieter, just grab your little key fob, hit the close button, and quieter it is. So we'll do a standing start down here and nothing too crazy. We're not going to do any big nasty burnouts or super hard launches. This is a client's car, so I need to put a few test miles on it before we uh, ship it off to so he can have some fun with it. All right, we'll do the dumps open again. I think I like that better. We're not gonna launch it too hard, but drag radio, you can probably launch this car even on the street. We 3,500 RPM pretty aggressively. I'm not gonna mess with the trash control. Yeah, take that back, let's turn it off. It's no fun to have the trash control on. Traction control is off. All right. Didn't want to spin the tires there. Yeah, we're not doing a burnout. We're just going to just maybe we'll go three grand. A little bog and go. A little no lift shift for three to four. One thirty four. You know, the other thing I love about the Hellcat. Is you can just beat the piss out of it all day long. The guys at FCA uh, SRT did a great job in building a, designing a supercharger system that has great capacity. So it has the ability to dissipate heat, whether you're drag racing, road racing. Not that you're gonna road race one of these cars, but you could. You'd have a hard time through the corners, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't lose a lot of horsepower because of heat soak. Um, I like that about a car. There are other, other cars, I mean, for instance, the LT4, I love the LT4. 
and the Z01 and the Z06 and the Z06 Corvettes, they get hot easily. I mean, we have things that we do to upgrade that and reduce that effect, but when you've got a physically larger displacement supercharger, like you do in the case of the of the Hellcat, um, that helps dissipate that heat. All right, one more time. What else should we discuss? We could talk a lot about the Demon, and there's a lot of news coming about the Demon, as well as other things that we're doing with the, the Hellcat, higher horsepower packages. We'll, we'll save that for a later video. One more hit, and we'll be done. Thanks for tuning in.